Jewish leaders in New York are blasting Kamala Harris for not only passing over Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro in favor of Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, but the blatant, ugly, anti-Semitic campaign that Shapiro faced as a VP contender. Many like CNN see Shapiro's Jewish heritage as a problem for Democrats, as a significant chunk of Dem the Democrat Party is now made up of anti-Israel Israel and anti-Semitic folks. Joining me now is CEO of Aish Global, Rabbi Stephen Berg. Actually, no, he's not with us. I think we, we just lost a connection. And president of Zionist Organization of America, Mark Klein. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. I think we have you both. That's great. Okay, it's obvious that Shapiro was supposed to be the VP pick up until the last minute. They... They had the VP roll out in Philadelphia, but due to the revolt on the left and the anti-Semitic wing of the Democrat Party led to, to Shapiro being passed over. Rabbi, years ago, Democrat Jews like Alan Dershowitz have been sounding the alarm about this virulent strain of anti-Semitism in the Democrat Party. It only seems to have gotten worse and bigger, yes? Uh, it's it's yeah it's terrible. I mean this makes no sense. Pennsylvania was a must win state. He's a he was a great candidate vice president, and they clearly passed him over. And I think for the Jewish community, we're seeing a clear double standard. On the one hand, you know Senator Schumer will extend an invitation to Bibi and then not shake his hand, uh, and you know when he comes to speak. So they're trying to talk out <laughs> both sides of their mouth, and they need to really uh, make sure that they're they're saying the same thing to all of us and really you know condemning anti semitism. Well, Mort, when, when even outlets like CNN uh, note that Democrats choosing a Jew for the vice president would be a, quote, problem for the electorate, why do you think party leaders are refusing to address this that even CNN clearly sees as a problem? <laughs> because the party leaders see that there's a growing and significant portion of the Democratic, unfortunately, the Democratic electorate that has become extremely hostile to Israel. <laughs> Uh, you have a, a significant number of candidates running openly as anti-Semites, like Ilan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Betty McClintock, Jamal Bowman, Cory Bush, who just lost. And so they're afraid of this growing anti-Semitic group. And so they don't want to offend them. Uh, so th this was it's so conspicuously obvious that he was not chosen because he's a Jew. If his name was Josh Smith, he would have been chosen. This is a man, as the rabbi said, from a critical state that he can help deliver. Instead, they choose a man from Minnesota, a small state that they're going to get anyway. A man who's a self-proclaimed socialist who let Minnesota burn because of Black Lives Matter riots. And as you mentioned, the fact that this was, event was being held at Temple University in Philadelphia, they were ready to give it to Josh Shapiro. There was no, they didn't hold it in Minnesota. They held it in Philadelphia. But at the last minute, there was such an up, uh, up, uh, uproar about the fact that he volunteered for the IDF 30 years ago, uh, the Israel Defense Forces, mm -hmm. to our greatest ally, most reliable ally. And he wrote an article saying the Palestinians are not serious about peace. He wrote it 30 years ago. He should be praised for that. He was completely right. 30 years later, we still don't have peace because they've turned down every single deal, the Palestinian Arabs. Uh, uh, and and, and th so clearly, this man is a clear thinker should have been chosen. It is pure anti-Semitism. Well, Rabbi, many anti-Israeli left-wing protesters have labeled Governor Shapiro genocide Josh for his support of Israel and serving as a volunteer in the IDF. As Mort was just talking about, couple that with the violence and the vandalism unleashed by the left-wing in this country when Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited. Rabbi, why do you think so many Jews still vote Democrat in this country after they've witnessed all of this? Yeah, it's a great question. I think that right now there's an existential crisis for the Jewish community. You know, this is unprecedented. They're, they're trying to break with those old habits. They're totally confused. And, and you know, genocidal Josh, they're, they're attacking everyone. There's no one they won't go after these protesters. And frankly, they got to be they got to be told the way it is. They got to back down. They got to support our Democrat ally of Israel. I, I can't speak for most Jews that are still out there, but I can tell you there's a huge number of Jews that are shifting over to the Republican Party. And we, we can't stomach Ellen Omar. We cannot uh, stomach Rashida Tlaib. And, you know, the Democratic Party, at some point, they have to make a choice. They have to make a choice. Either they have to put America first and they have to support this country, and Israel is in lockstep with this country, or the people that are trying to rip down America. Because when they say death to Israel, they mean death to America as well. 
Well, Mort, I've only got 30 Sorry. seconds left, but do you, do you think this problem goes away if Democrats continue to ignore it? <laughs> no. You need Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and Jeffries publicly condemning these people and even saying we don't want them on committees. If these people were anti-black or anti-gay, they'd be thrown off of every committee. If, as long as the leadership of the Democratic Party doesn't publicly condemn them by name and have consequences like throwing them off committees, you're going, this is, problem is going to keep growing and growing in the Democratic Party. The leaders yeah. have got to yep. speak out. They've been silent. Yep, to, to, to this day, they refuse, the Democrat Party refuses to call out their anti-Semitic problem by name. Uh, Rabbi Stephen Berg and Mort Klein, thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate the time. Folks, on the way, the part of the show reserved just for you, the Salcedo Show audience, the male perspective a day early. It comes your way next on Newsmax. Newsmax.